is a dedicated staff or an insurance company. During the pandemic, his job got lagged behind. Nothing could stop Tom from working until the day he got serious coughs. Let's see how Tom deals with the situation. Morning, son. Morning, Pop. How are you today? You don't seem fine. I'm feeling quite under the weather recently. But don't you worry, son. I can still work normally. I think you should go see a doctor, Dad. Your symptoms are quite suspicious. You know we're dealing with the virus pandemic, right? I know that you think I meet hundreds of clients every day, and one of them can possibly carry the virus. But that's impossible, son, because I always wear a face mask. Nothing's impossible. I still think that seeing a doctor is very necessary, Dad. You've coughed for several days, and I'll go to the hospital with you. Okay, son. Taking care of our health is a must. Tom Edison and James Edison, right? How are you today? I'm feeling a bit better now, Doctor. I'm doing okay, and I hope there's nothing too serious going on with my dad. Oh, about his coughs and your concern about the virus infection. I got the test results for both of you here. Just tell me, Doctor. Tom, unfortunately, you've got positive with... Oh, no. Let me finish, Mr. Edison. You're positive with chickenpox, but somehow your immune system prevented the appearance of red spots on your skin. That's strange. Yeah, I know, and I also prescribed your dad pills for his cough. You two are safe from the pandemic virus for now, but don't forget to keep good hygiene and wear a mask. Thank you, Doctor. I'll take better care of my health for the sake of community health, too. Stay home and stay strong, you two. William, Lisa, and Cindy are close friends at the workplace. They're always coming to work on time, but today William got it late. Watch the video to find out what happened to William and how she coped with it. Morning, girls. How are you today, William? You look so sad. You're an early bird and never go to work late. What happened to you, girl? Oh, I hate this morning so much. This morning, I just walked my dog to the park as usual, but he got panicked by a bee, and I had to chase after him for half an hour. That's so exhausting. Poor you, William. And I could have made it on time without the car collision on Road 5. Yeah... I have just read about it on the news. No one's got badly injured, right? That's what I heard there, too. People are all fine, but the collision made it so difficult to move. How long did it take you to get out of the traffic jam? Around 40 minutes. I'm feeling like this day's not for me. What an unlucky day for our William. Smile, William. At least you always have us in your corner, so that makes you a lucky duck already. Second. Thanks so much, girls. Thanks for asking how I am today, so I can tell you two everything. I think you girls have just made my day a little bit brighter. You're so welcome, William. 
As an old saying goes, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Jesse is getting married to Andrew today. However, right before the wedding day, she knew that her fiancé was cheating on her. What is her decision? Let's find out by keep watching this video. Hi, Jesse. Ted, I'm so glad you came. Of course, I don't want to miss your big day. You look gorgeous, Jesse. Thank you, Ted. What's wrong? How are you today? Are you not feeling well? Is it because you couldn't sleep last night? No, Ted. I just don't know what I want anymore. Jesse, tell me your concerns. Ted, Andrew is having an affair behind my back. I thought he was my significant one, but it seemed like I'm just a fool. No, Jesse, you're not. You're the most brilliant, affectionate girl I've met in my entire life. Andrew doesn't deserve you at all. I'm feeling so empty now, Ted. Am I gonna tie the knot with someone who doesn't love me with all of his heart? You don't need to, Jesse. You know that I'm always loving you, Jesse. Ted, I'm so sorry I can't make up my mind now. Can you just please leave me alone? I'll be outside. Do you, Jesse, take Andrew to be your husband, to cherish in friendship and love today, tomorrow, and for as long as the two of you shall live? I... I'm sorry. I can't. What, Jesse? Uh, stop kidding, babe. I'm not, Andrew. I can't marry someone like you. We're too different. I want to send the sincerest apology to everyone. And Andrew, I wish you the best. She's out of her mind now. A group of friends is assigned to make a presentation about how Americans say hello and start their conversations. Let's see what they find out during their discussion. Did you have any news on Ben? He was supposed to be here at 9 o'clock. I didn't. It's 10 minutes past 9 now. He must be stuck somewhere. Why don't we get the ball rolling now by reviewing what we should do today? Hey guys! Oh, I'm so sorry. I overslept, but I tried my best to be here. Oh, thanks! You're finally here, Ben. Things aren't easy like that, Ben. Well, how about me buying you two drinks today? Agreed. Deal. All right, the drinks are on me then. So Ben, Alex, and I were about to talk about how we can have our discussion today. Any ideas, guys? Our topic is how Americans start the conversation. I think we can list all the sayings, expressions that we often use to say hi to each other. Yeah, I can do it first. Normally I'll say hi, hello, or how are you doing? For my part, how do you do is a common saying to ask others about their current situation. 
I think so too, but I guess I can add some more. For example, I often greet friends by asking what's up or what's shaking bacon. <laughs> Pardon? Do you call your friends bacon? A kind of meat? <laughs> Alex, stop being funny. It's just an expression. Yeah, when I ask you what's shaking bacon, that means how are you today? I get it now. Young people like us are very creative with ways to break the ice. Sometimes I used how's life or how's life treating you too. I agree with you. Now that we have so many sayings to start a talk. Oh, I think people also ask about weather, time, or give compliments to others as well. You're so right, Alex. I think starting a talk needs effort, flexibility, and creativity. It depends on who you're talking to and how close you are to them. Totally on point. Okay, I wrote everything down here. I think we're done with our first meeting now. Good teamwork, guys. Jesse, Emily's birthday is today. Should we go over the plan once again? Yes, that would be nice. We're doing a surprise party, right? I think that would be really exciting. I agree. So, let's first start with the guest list. We already invited Tom, David, Mary. What about Mr. Alex? He's always been busy as a director and hasn't spent much time with her. I think they're not on good terms with each other. Why don't we invite him so they can mend their relationship with each other? I already reached out to him, though. He said he wasn't sure if he could make it. Oh, well, let's talk about the cake, then. What cake did we get for her? Chocolate is her favorite, so we got a two-tier chocolate cake. Sounds good. Peter ordered it, right? The bakery he orders from is so good. That's nice. What about Jack? What did he agree to help with? I think he agreed to buy some balloons and decorations. Okay, so we only have to buy her gifts now, right? Yes. What do you think would make a good present? She borrowed my hat last time, so maybe something like that. Good enough. Let's get that for her. Hello, you two. What are you doing here? Am I missing out on something? Oh, it's nothing. By the way, happy birthday to you, Emily. Thank you so much, Anne. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, Jessie. Well, have you got any plans to celebrate your birthday tonight, Emily? I was thinking I could spend it with you guys. What do you think? Oh... I'm so sorry. Jack said he already had plans for tonight, and he couldn't get himself out of them. I also have a meeting with my clients scheduled since last week. Oh, really? That's so sad. What about you, Jessie? Are you free tonight? I promised to go to the musical theater with Peter already. I'm really sorry for not being able to stay. What a shame.
Welcome to my birthday party, everyone. Oh, I forgot. No one is home tonight. It's such a shame. I wanted this birthday to be special. I have always had to spend it all alone. Oh, what? What happened? Surprise! Happy birthday to you, Emily! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Emily! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you, Emily! Oh my god! What a surprise! Thank you so much, everyone! I thought you guys all had your own plans. How did I not know? Come on, Emily. We wouldn't miss it for the world. You're like family to us. Oh, thank you so much. I love you guys. We love you. Now make a wish. Wait, don't blow out the candles yet. We have a bigger surprise for you. Please, pay attention. You can come out now. Everyone welcome Mr. Alex! Dad? Dad, why are you here? Why, it's my little girl's birthday. Of course I'm here. Happy birthday, honey. Oh, this is so emotional. Thank you, Dad. I love you. I love you too, honey. By the way, I thought you would enjoy a vacation with me. Next month, I'm filming a movie at a beach site, and I would love for you to come along. I'll pay for everything. You're the best, Dad. We hope you're happy with this party. We started planning this morning and we're in a rush. I love it. Thank you guys again. I propose a toast. Give it up for our youngest but most caring and sometimes annoying but still very lovable little sister. Cheers! Let's open your presents, Emily. Oh, there are presents? Let's see if you guys really know me. <laughs> oh, hi, Jack. Do you know where Anne is right now? I'm looking for her. No, I, I haven't seen her this entire morning. Is there something important? Not really. Well, I'll come back later then. See you, Jack. Actually, do you want to sit down, Jesse? I want to talk to you. Hmm, okay. What's up with you lately? You don't look so happy. It's nothing, Jack. I'm perfectly fine. Jesse, I've known you for ten years, more or less. Do you think I'd be fooled by that? What do you want from me, Jack? Actually, you know what? Let me get straight to the point. I don't think it's a good idea for you to move to Japan with Peter. Your life is here, Jesse. Your jobs, your friends, your families, and me as well. I still have feelings for you. I have always loved you, Jesse. I know you still have feelings for me too. But you're just in denial. What can I do then? Tell me. Tell Peter everything, Jesse. Tell him that you'll not go to Japan with him. Break up with him. Why can't you just leave me alone, Jack? Why do you have to make it this hard? 
All he ever cares about is his job. He doesn't care for you, Jesse. Don't you see that? I am not like that. I will always be by your side, no matter what. Please, don't ignore my feelings and yours like this anymore. Really? You will always be by my side? Of course, Jesse. I'm here for you, right? Whenever you need me, I'm right here. Just break up with Peter and we can be together. Ugh. I don't know, Jack. I wish things were as simple as that. They are what you make of them, Jesse. I know, you know, this is the right thing to do. What's going on here? Why are you holding my girlfriend's hand? It's not what you think, Peter. Oh, please. It is exactly what I think it is. Can we talk about this at home, please? How about no? I'm not going anywhere. You two have some explaining to do. Leo and Jesse have been dating for over a year. Their friend Jennifer just recently found out about it. She sits down with Leo and Jesse and asks them to tell her everything. Oh my god! Why didn't you guys tell me? I had to find out the news through Jack. We're very sorry, Jennifer. We wanted to keep things private, but Jack saw us together when we were on a date last week. I understand. Well, are you going to tell me now? Of course. What do you want to know? First of all, when did you guys start being in a relationship? We started being in a relationship last year. Last year? That's a long time ago. Yeah, time flies. We never expected to be so in love. Right, Jesse? <laughs> yeah, Leo came to the cafe I was working at then, and the rest is history. You guys are so cheesy, I can't stand it. Oh, come on. Weren't you the one wanting us to be together from the start? Yes, I am starting to regret it now, though. Just kidding. I am happy for you guys. Thanks, Jennifer. Uh, we weren't sure how you would react to this news. What would I do? Stop hanging out with you guys? No way. <laughs> we love you. Tim and Brian are looking through Tim's family photos. They come across one where Tim was crying. Brian asked Tim what it was about. Tim, why were you crying in this picture? By the way, you looked so young here. Duh, Brian. I was five years old then. What did you expect me to look like? And I was crying because my dad tricked me. I tricked you how? I remember it was a school day. My dad woke me up really early. Uh-huh, go on. Well, I wanted to skip school that day. My dad told me I could if I made the bed and got ready as fast as possible. <laughs> I see where this is going. Ugh, I finished everything super fast, without any doubt. I made the bed, ate my breakfast, brushed my teeth, and washed my face. I even put on a beautiful outfit. And then? And then my dad said, April's fools. I cried, and he took this picture at that moment. Your dad is such a funny guy. 
No, not me. Johnny has a stomach ache. He goes to see his doctor, Robert. Robert asks him a few questions to figure out the reasons for Johnny's pain. Hey, Robert, can you have a look at my stomach? It's been aching since yesterday. Hmm, what did you eat for dinner yesterday? Was it anything out of the ordinary? No, not that I know of. I just ate a hamburger. Maybe there was something wrong with that hamburger. What about drinks? Did you drink anything bad? I drank some alcohol last night, but that's normal for me. I always drink a glass of wine every other day. That can still upset your stomach, though. Your body may not be able to tolerate alcohol. Should we do some tests first? Yeah, sure. Results show that you're not allergic to alcohol. How was your sleep last night? It was not so good. I slept really late because I had to work. I've been staying up late for a week now. I see. That's probably why you're feeling unwell. You need enough sleep for your organs to work normally. I know. What should I do then? You need to sleep earlier. That should help. If not, come see me again. Okay. Thank you, Robert. You're welcome. Jeremy just came back from Italy. He tells Molly, his colleague, about his adventures on holiday. Long time no see. How was your holiday? Hey, Molly. It was really good. Thank you for asking. I had so much food and went sightseeing a lot as well. Really? What was your favorite meal? My favorite meal was one I had the first night I was there. Pizza and wine. That seems delicious. Did you take many pictures? Unfortunately, no. But I filmed a lot using the video camera I bought before the trip. Can I see the footage sometimes? I've never been to Italy before. Of course. Oh, wait a minute. I'll send them to you. Thank you, Jeremy. By the way, you missed out on a few important meetings while you were gone. Oh no, what did I miss? One on a new project and one on new employees. I see. Thank you for informing me. I'll see if I can find some information on them. No problem. I'm getting back to work now. Okay, talk to you later. After the weekend, Hannah goes back to school. Her desk mate, Tony, asks her about her activities during the weekend. Good morning, Hannah. How are you today? I'm good. Thanks, Tony. What about you? I'm good, too. My dad bought home a new dog yesterday. I'm still very excited. What about you? What did you do on your weekend, Hannah? Congratulations on your new dog, Tony. I also hung out with mine and took it out on a walk yesterday afternoon. The rest of the day was nothing crazy, though. I just helped my mom cook and enjoyed dinner with my family. That sounds lovely. Did you do the homework for today? Yes, I finished it on Saturday. 
Do you want to compare the results? I wasn't sure about question three. Sure, that one took me some time to solve. I know, right? I asked my brother for help, but he couldn't solve it either. Here you go. Did you get ten as the answer? Hmm. No. What did I do wrong? Maybe you missed a step. Let me see. Oh yeah, you have to redo this part. Oh, I redid that part so many times already, and still got it wrong. It's okay. I can help you. I'm sure the teacher will explain it as well. Thank you, Tony. You're welcome, Hannah. Do you want anything from the shop? Yes, a、uh, toothpaste. Get me some Old Gate toothpaste. But Old Gate is more expensive than Oral C. How much more? It's fifty cents more than Oral C. How much is Herby White? It's one dollar and forty-five cents. Hmm, that's cheaper than Oral C. Oral C is heavier than Herby White. Okay, just get some toothpaste, whatever kind you like. Up to you. Hey, look at these shirts. They're on sale. Yeah, what are they going for? Let's see. Oh yeah, nineteen ninety nine each. That is much cheaper than the normal price. What is the normal price? Normally they're about thirty dollars. Excuse me. Do you have any a bit larger than these? I'm looking for something in an extra large. Sure, come over and take a look. Oh, these are nice. Do you have some that are darker than these? I'm looking for something in a dark blue or brown. Yes, I think we have some in the back. Let me take a look. Excuse me, what is the price of this suit? It's one hundred and forty-five dollars. Do you have some that are more formal? Yes, but they are more expensive. That's okay. These are more formal. Yes, they're perfect. They're on sale for a hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Fine, I like this one, but I need a bigger size. I'll get a bigger size for you. What do we need to get when we go to the store? Um, we need some shampoo and conditioner. Which brand do you want? I don't care, but get something in a bigger container than the last one. We use it too quickly. Fine. We also need to get some soap. Can we get one that smells better this time? Sure. We can try a different brand. Anything else? Yeah. You need to get some mouthwash too. I really like your new TV. Yeah, thanks. It has more features than the last one. Really? Like what? It can get up to a hundred channels, and it has five languages. Great! It's also bigger than the last one. What size is it? It's a twenty-one inch model. 
Awesome. Hi, Eric. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing good. Is this your friend? This is Henry. We went to school together. Henry, this is Layla. Hi, nice to meet you, Layla. Hi, nice to meet you too. You have a beautiful smile. Thank you. You're not that handsome, but you look okay. Wow, thanks. Layla, is my aunt here? No, she isn't. She should be in around ten. Here are some menus. Thank you. Can I get you anything to drink? I'll have a coffee, please. Okay. Would you like sugar and milk? I like my coffee black. Okay, one black coffee. I'll have fresh squeezed orange juice, please. We don't have any orange juice. I'll be right back. What do you like to eat for breakfast? I like a large breakfast. I like a large lunch. Large lunch makes me sleepy. Anyway, what do you recommend for breakfast? Hmm, the pancakes are good. Pancakes, delicious. What else? Do you like eggs? Yes, I like eggs. Huh, you could have some scrambled eggs with toast? Hmm, or sunny side up eggs. Yummy! Or sunny side up, right? Or an omelette? Omelettes. I love omelettes. Cheese omelettes, ham omelettes, vegetable omelettes. Mixed fruit? Mixed fruit with yogurt makes a good breakfast. That's right. And fruit has many vitamins, too. What else? Uh, what else? You could have a cup of coffee and a blueberry muffin. Mmm. A muffin and a cup of coffee sounds good. So, do you know what you want to get? Yes, I do, and thank you for your recommendations. You're welcome. So, what will you get? A hamburger. A hamburger? Yes, and ice cream. Here's your coffee, Eric. Thank you. And here's your water. Thank you. Are you guys ready to order? What do you like to have for breakfast? I usually like to have an omelette. That sounds good. I'll have a cheese omelette. Okay, one omelette. Do you have pancakes? Yes, how many would you like? Three, please, and bacon. Three pancakes and bacon. Would you like toast? A toast? Hmm, toast sounds good. Yes, three pieces of toast. Would you like anything else? Do you have any fresh fruit? Yes, today we have fruit salad. Okay, fruit salad, and that's all. How about you, Henry? What would you like to eat? I would like a hamburger and ice cream. Excuse me? I would like a hamburger and ice cream, please. A hamburger and ice cream for breakfast? Are you crazy? No, I'm hungry. Okay, one hamburger. What kind of ice cream do you want? What kind of ice cream do you have? We have chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Vanilla, please. One vanilla, okay. Bye.
that was a good breakfast. Yes, it was. Are you full? I'm very full. You ate a lot. I was so hungry, I could have eaten a horse. Good thing is that we didn't go to the racetrack. And that reminds me, what are we going to do today? Let's go see a movie. Let's pay the bill first. Then we'll go see a movie. Okay, we'll see a movie. Layla, check please. Okay, just a moment. Would you guys like to pay together or separately? Oh my god, I forgot my money. That's okay, I have enough. Together, please. Okay, the total for your breakfast is $10.30. My aunt usually gives me a 50% discount. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. That will be $5.15. Here's $7. You can keep the change. Really? Keep the change? Yes, it's tipped for you. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Eric. I'll pay you back when we get to an ATM. Don't worry, it's just breakfast. I'll get lunch. Are you sure? I eat a lot. I forgot about that. Ryder, isn't that Layla? Layla? Who? Layla Lavin. We went to school together. Here she comes. Hi. Hey, Layla. Hi. Hi. How can I help you? It's me, Andrew. We went to school together. Right, Andrew and... Oh my god! Ryder Wieldly. Ryder, I've not seen you in years. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I miss you so much. Thank you. I thought I would not see you again. Some surprise. Oh, you bet. How's your life? Are you married? No, I'm not married yet. So, you're single then? Free and single. How about you? Are you working? Yes, I have a shop at the mall. Really? What do you sell? Well, it's a mobile phone shop. So I sell mobile phones and accessories at the mall. Hey, Ryder and I are going to see a movie at the mall today. Interesting. And Ryder is going to buy a mobile phone today. Really? Well, then you can come to my shop. What's your shop called? It's called Ring Me. I know that shop. Where is it? It's on the third floor of the mall. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, but I have to go now. I hope to see you later, Ryder. Bye. 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 Excuse me. Um, I've just arrived here, and I've been waiting at the baggage carousel for my suitcase. I think it's lost. Okay, sir. Don't worry about that. I'm sure we can find it. What flight were you on? Flight number MA201 from Bangkok. Yes, your bag should be on carousel 8. This is where I've been waiting. And it's not here. What does your bag look like? Can you give me a description? It's green. Does it have your name on it? Yes, I wrote my name on the label. It's Martin Andrew Robert. I'll just make a quick call to see if I can find it. Hello, Central. Yes, 
Code 17. Leave your name, number, and the time. Martin Andrew Robert. See you later. Yes. Sir, your bag is being held by customs. You can pick it up there. Is there a problem? I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. They will explain it to you at the customs hall. Just follow this corridor. On your left. Okay, thanks for your help. You're welcome. Excuse me. My suitcase is missing and I was told I could collect it here. Can you identify which bag is yours? Yes, it's the green one here. What is your name? My name is Martin Andrew Robert. Okay, is this your bag? Yes, of course. Is there a problem, officer? It's that our sniffer dog has smelled something in your bag. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to open it for me. Yes, of course. You're welcome to have a look. Uh, this is what our sniffer dog found. I'm afraid you carried a package of biscuits and the package is split. Oh, I forgot about those. They must have broken during the flight. Well, I can't see anything else, so you're free to go. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. You're welcome. Excuse me, I'm trying to get to the city center. Where do I catch the bus? Oh, you can catch the bus just right outside. You go through the exit doors, take a left. The bus stop should be right in front of you. Oh, thank you. Where are you going? I'm staying at the Four Seasons Hotel. Oh, that's near the harbor, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, in that case, you'll want to get a number 63. The blue bus and leaves from the bus station number 2. Well, okay. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your visit. Good day. Good day. Excuse me, where's King Street, please? Sorry, I don't know. Excuse me, is King Street near here? King Street? Mm, it's near here, but I don't know exactly where. Sorry. Thank you. Excuse me, can you tell me the way to King Street? Yeah, go straight on. Go past the church and then turn left at the traffic lights. And then I think it's the second on the right. Sorry, could you say that again, please? Yeah, go straight on. Go past the church and then turn left at the traffic lights. And then I think it's the second on the right. Thank you. Okay, it's this street. No, it isn't. I'm sure you said the first on the right. No, he said the second on the right. Relax, Layla. Look, let's ask that man there. I don't think he knows. He's a tourist. Just ask him, please. Okay, okay. Excuse me, we're lost. Do you know where King Street is? Sorry, I don't live here. I'm just a tourist. You see, I was right. Okay, let's try the second on the right. Here it is. King Street. I knew he said the second on the right. There's the restaurant, Donatello's. Can you see any way to park? That's the white cars going over there. Do you think you can park in that space? Are you saying I can't park? <laughs> Layla, I'm only joking. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Good. 
Good evening. Do you have a reservation? Yes, a table for two. My name is Layla Gray. Smoking or non-smoking? Non-smoking, please. Come this way, please. Are you ready to order? Yes, I'd like the onion soup and then the steak, please. The goat's cheese salad and the lasagna for me, please. What would you like to drink? Would you like some wine? No thanks, just mineral water for me. Okay. A glass of red wine and a bottle of mineral water, please. Thank you, sir. Thank you. How was the pasta? It was delicious. Listen, Layla, there's something I want to ask you. Yes. What? Would you like a dessert? Yes, please. What is there? Tiramisu, ice cream, or fruit salad? Fruit salad, please. And you, sir? Nothing for me, thanks. Layla. Yes, go on, Jane. Well, tomorrow's my last day, and I think we—I mean, I really like meeting you. Here you are, fruit salad. Would you like any coffee? Yes, an espresso, please.、Uh, the same for me, please. Sorry, Jane. Do you want to come to California next month? There's a big conference. I'm going to be there. Why don't you come? What do you think? Two espressos. Anything else? A little brandy? A grappa?、Uh, no, thank you.、Uh, what do you say, Layla? I'm not sure, Jane. I need some time to think about it. Okay? All right. But please tell me before I go. Okay. Could we have the check, please? Sorry, the check, the bill, Jane. We're in Britain, remember? Oh, sorry.、Um, could we have the bill, please? Yes, sir.